Have you ever wondered what the difference is between a Lutz and a flip jump? Why is it called a double sow cow? And why is it spelled that way? What makes an axle so tricky? Hi everyone, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. I've done several videos about the rules for jumps. In those videos, some of you have left me questions about the different types of jumps. Today, I thought it would be fun to explain all the jumps. There are six main types of jumps. These jumps increase in difficulty by variation of takeoff, the number of rotations in the air, the quality of jumping technique, and if it successfully landed on one foot in a balanced position with a strong edge out of the jump. Jumps fall into two basic categories. There are edge jumps, which are axle, sow cow, and loops. And there are toe jumps, which is the toe loop, the flip, and the lutz. All jumps look pretty much the same when you're in the air. And that's true whether it's a double, triple, or a quad. In those cases, it's just the speed of rotations that is different. Skaters learn jumps in a developmental sequence, beginning with the easiest, gradually increasing in difficulty depending upon their ability and dedication. The most manageable jumps are half jumps and single jumps, including the waltz jump. They increase in difficulty with doubles, triples, and quads. Before I get into the jump, first, you need to understand basic edges. There are two edges of a blade on either side of the groove center. That determines the edge you're on. The outside edge is the outer side of the blade. The inside edge is the inside of the blade. There are forward and backward for each edge, depending upon what direction you're traveling in. There are four edges on each foot. Forward outside, forward inside, backward outside, and backward inside. When you put both feet together, you have eight edges. If you're interested in learning more about the edges, I have a whole video dedicated to edges. There's a link to that in the description down below. How to identify each jump by takeoff. Axle. This is usually the easiest to tell what it is. It's the only jump besides a waltz jump that takes off forward, usually without a turn directly preceding it. It's named after Norwegian skater Axel Paulsen. He was a figure skater and speed skater that invented the axle. When we talk about axles, we say single, double, and triple. That's a little misleading because a single axle is not just one revolution. It's actually one and a half revolutions in the Air. A double is two and a half revolutions. His technical brilliance is such that he can perform the rare achievement of a triple axle. A turn that starts forward is landed backwards after the skater has made three and a half revolutions. David Jenkins, 1957, King of the Rink. The axle's an edge jump with a toe assist. It begins on a backward outside edge before stepping forward with the free leg, making an H position. That helps you to jump forward into the air. Landing this jump is a massive milestone. You'll usually start this after you've accomplished all your other single jumps. This jump is also performed in doubles, triples, and now even quads. My heart is pounding, setting it up right here. Quad oh my goodness! That was beautiful, floated down. The room he had. This place is jumping. Before learning the axle, you'll usually learn a waltz jump, which is similar to an axle, but it's only half a rotation. <laughs> The waltz jump is usually one of the very first jumps that you're going to learn after the bunny hop and side toe hop. Let's move on to sow cow. This is named after a Swedish skater, Ulrich Sow Cow. He was a Danish-born Swedish figure skater. He won the World Figure Skating Championship in 1909 and first landed a jump in competition where he took off from a backward inside edge and landed on a backward outside edge of his other foot. This is now known as the sow cow jump. Like the axle, this is another edge jump. Unlike the axle, most skaters use a turn in preparation for sow cow jump takeoffs. Most skaters will perform a forward outside three turn from forward to backward or backward to forward on the same foot without changing feet. It's called a three turn because the tracing on the ice looks like a three. 
Some skaters may use a mohawk or a C-step instead of a three turn. I have other videos all about turns and steps. So link to that in the description down below. Alternatively, you can simply jump from a back inside edge. The backward inside edge is on a bent leg with the free leg extended behind. You'll draw your free leg toward and around the skating leg in a circular motion as you spring into the air, simultaneously pulling in the arm. This creates a fish hook edge on the ice. That's what the tracing will look like. Proper timing is critical with sow cows. The entrance should not be rushed. You want to hold the backward inside edge of the takeoff. A sow cow can be performed as a single, double, triple, or quad. Tolu, you'll typically utilize a forward inside three turn to take off this toe jump. However, you can also perform it with a forward outside three turn, changing your feet, reaching back to pick with the free leg. This is called a toe wally. Both jumps are similar in nature and equal in value. Once you're backward on the back outside edge, the free leg will stretch directly backward. Your toe pick is placed in line with your free hip. Once you tap your toe, your free leg bends like a pole vault. A skating heel draws past the toe, similar to a chalk top. Like, think a windshield wiper. The free leg passes into the air. On a single toe loop, your arms pull forward and through. As you increase rotation, you increase the tightness of your arms to the chest. This is the most common jump used in combination because it's somewhat easy to reach your free leg behind you after landing another jump. If you should turn forward in the takeoff, it's considered a toe axle and not a toe loop. So it will be a downgraded jump. Loop! This is a fundamental jump. The takeoff and landing are on the same foot. Both are on a backward outside edge. The curve is what recognizes this jump, like a fish hook or the number six. Your weight is placed on the skating leg with the free foot trailing. Skaters typically learn the loop jump from a forward inside three turn. Once you understand the concept, the jump can be taught on a backward outside entry edge. Many coaches put a skater on a circle to help facilitate the back outside edge. This is a counter-rotated jump which means the skater starts with your shoulders twisted in one direction, releases in the opposite direction. The air position looks like a lowercase H. This is also seen in the flip and the lutz. This is another jump that's also commonly used in jump combinations. Flip. This is typically a forward outside three turn for preparation, but some skaters will use a mohawk or C-step. Once you're backward on an inside edge, the free leg stretches directly behind and the toe pick is placed in line with the free hip. The toe pick taps into the ice. You'll draw your feet together and pivot up into the loop position, vaulting into the air. A skater will pick and land on the same foot. This can be performed as a double, triple, or quad. Lutz. The lutz is similar to a flip, but it takes off from an outside edge instead of an inside edge. Like the loop, the lutz turns on the counter direction to the entry edge, meaning you set it up twisting one way and jumping the other way. So it's a difficult jump for most skaters. A lutz requires a strong backward outside edge before you draw back and tap into the ice, much like a pole vault. The jump is most easily recognized by its placement in the ice, the corner of the arenas. In fact, we often call these the lutz corners. To review, an axle takes off from a forward outside edge and lands on a backward outside edge. The sow cow takes off from a backward inside edge, landing on the backward outside edge. A toe loop takes off from the backward outside edge with a tap toe. It lands on the backward outside edge. Loop jumps take off from a backward outside edge and land on a backward outside edge. The flip takes off on a backward inside edge with a tap toe, landing onto a backward outside edge. The Lutz takes off on a backward outside edge with a toe tap and lands on a backward outside edge. If this video helped you understand the differences between the jumps, please give it a like and share it with somebody else else you think it could help, just post it to your social media too. I post videos every week that can help you with your skating, your fitness, nutrition, and ultimately live a better life. So remember to subscribe and ring that bell so that you never miss a video. If you want to know how long it's going to take you to achieve these jumps, I have a few videos that can help you. You're going to find them right here. This is Amy. Thank you for watching. Happy skating. I will see you real soon. Bye.